Corey and I are back with another Le Labo video. This time we're going to go ahead and review Rose 31. We're going to also have a chance at winning one of five samples thanks to Barney's in San Francisco, so please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. And that's right, Corey is back to do another video with me. If this is your first time on this channel, please make sure you're subscribed. Click the subscribe button below and click also the bell icon so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways so that you don't miss out on these videos and giveaways that we're doing. This was launched in 2006. It's Eau de Parfum Concentration. The perfumer knows behind this fragrance is Daphne Bouget, who also did Bergamot 22, which we that's reviewed. Right. Um, this is considered a woody floral musk or a spicy fragrance and for uh, pricing, uh, this is 100 ml and it retails for 265 for 100 ml. Uh, refill for 100 ml, it was $200, which is what we mentioned in Bergamot mm -hmm. video. And a 50 ml bottle like this is 180, I don't know the refill price of the 50 ml. For notes, we've got in the top rose and caraway. And for heart notes, we've got rose, vetiver and cedar. The base notes, we've got musk, guyac wood, olibanum, labdanum, and oud. Now, on Fragrantica, the notes say caraway, but I always thought it was cumin, but I think mm. cumin and caraway are pretty similar, do you think? Mm. So, um, I guess that's what it is. And I never thought that there was oud in this fragrance. Yeah, I had no idea either. So, what do you think? Do you smell oud in here? Uh, we'll see. I haven't smelled it in a while. Okay. But... You want to spray? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, here he goes. All right, I'm going to do it on my skin then. Yeah. It smells good on the cap. Yeah, this smells really good. It's one of my favorites. Thank you. It's one of my favorite rose fragrances. Mm. This is very nostalgic for me. I used to wear this a lot when I first was getting into Le Labo back in the winter. So I haven't really worn this in quite a while. When you say winter, like recently? Yeah. So I just got it started probably back in November. So what is it now? August? So almost a year ago, actually. But yeah, I haven't worn this in some time. It smells very good. So what do you pick up in the top? Do you get the rose right away? I get like a subtle amount of rose. I think if someone comes into Le Labo and they've never really smelled their fragrances before, if they see the title rose, they might in their head get that olfactory impression of like a, you know, like your grandmother's rose. But I think this is definitely not that kind of rose. To me, it's very subtle, but it's there. Like it's a hint of floral sweetness, but mm -hmm. it's definitely not like a in your face, rosy rose. No, 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 it's not a rosy rose. And I definitely get a lot of spice in there. Would you consider this one a masculine rose? Yeah, I think it definitely could be unisex, but I think this is one that men absolutely could, you know, without any fear of being feminine, pick up. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's one that, for me personally, I, I think it really plays on the boundary really well. It's definitely a little hint of feminine, but also some more masculine feeling spice and wood in there. So, and what do you think about the caraway, which is which we're thinking is cumin in here? Mm. Do you think it's too strong? I don't even know if I'm picking that up today on my skin. Really? Wow. It's pretty. <laughs> For you. Yeah. Mm. Cumin and caraway, well, I guess caraway too, but cumin definitely is associated with like smelling like body odor. Body yeah, odor. that's like what I usually associate it with. I'm not sure if I'm getting that today, but I've definitely <laughs> like in the past I've worn this and gotten that kind of sense from it. But overall as a composition, I think this perfume to me is very like sensual and very sexy to me. Like that's my personal like, uh, interpretation or association with this fragrance. So I think that is probably where I get that kind of feeling from. I think body odor to me is always a little bit of that like sexy kind of like somewhat sensual uh, note for mm -hmm. me. So yeah. maybe that's why I'm getting that within this composition. Interesting. Um, and you mentioned uh, it's not like a in your face kind of rose, mm -hmm. um, but you also experience a very dry fragrance here. It's not juicy or wet. Oh yeah, no, it does not seem wet at all to me. This is very like dry. Uh, like I said, I think the wood and the spice comes out to me a lot, and that to me feels very dry. What about the vetiver? Because I know there's a big vetiver mm. note in here, and I think I'm picking up lots of vetiver. I don't know if I'm getting that yet. But in general, do you... See, to me right now, I'm smelling it, it smells like major cumin. Like it's cumin and really? rose is what I'm picking up. Maybe it's my chemistry, it brings yeah. out the cumin more. Right. And I don't know, on you, can I smell? Yeah, of course. Wow. What do you think? Is it different or...? It smells a little citrusy around you. Really? That's funny. Huh, that's weird. It's rose. I mean, it's, yeah. it's the rose in here, but it's slightly fresher. Really? Mm, that's so interesting. And on me, it's all cumin. Can I smell? Cumin and rose. 
That smelled different. I don't know if I'm getting the cumin today, though. What? Yeah. I don't know. Um, you were just having coffee. I was, yeah. Um, and somebody was telling me recently about coffee and how it makes your body acidic. Oh, really? And it reacts differently when you just, when you have coffee in your system with mm-hmm. perfume. So I wonder oh, if that's wow. what's causing. I wonder, because I drink coffee like every single day and I just chugged a whole cup. So, <laughs> <laughs> so um, as it's drying down, do you, do you get any oud? Because I don't get any oud in here. I don't know how correct these notes are on Fragrantica, but that's the... First time I noticed it said it had oud. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I've, this is my second bottle. Yeah. I refilled this one last year, as you can see how much I've used. Mm-hmm. I, I love this one a lot. It's one of my, if not top five, probably top 10 rose fragrances yeah. of all time. It's super nice. Um, but I've never picked up oud in here. I, I don't know where that comes from. Yeah, I mean, I've only smelled oud fragrances like here and there. I'm not usually a huge oud fan, so I don't necessarily gravitate towards those when I see them on the perfume counter at like Barney's or whatnot, but um, I don't know if I get that. And in fact, that's the first time I've heard oud within those notes, but I mean, I don't know. I don't really pick it up necessarily, but I definitely smell something woody and spicy. And... Well, wood, oud, oud has a very distinct smell. Mm-hmm. I mean, I can smell oud in fragrances mm-hmm. uh, all the time, but I've smell never smelled it in here. Smell it in here. I wonder if it's one of those, it's just like a little dash of it where it's almost hidden in there, but not necessarily prominently coming out. I definitely don't get it, but. So Daphne Bouget did five, I think we talked about this, but Daphne Bouget did five fragrances for a L'Artisan Parfumé. Mm-hmm. They're in the beautiful black bottles. One of the fragrances, the rose fragrance in that five collection of fragrances mm-hmm. has very much similarities to mm-hmm. this. So today, if you're on your way back, mm-hmm. stop at Bloomingdale's and, um, Smell the 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 L'Artisan Parfumé from da- Daphne Bouget, the oh, rose. Yeah. I love her work, yeah. at least from my love. Well, actually, smell all five of them yeah. because she did all five of them. But when you smell the rose, mm-hmm. you're gonna say, "Oh my God, that smells like Rose 31." I mean, yeah. it's different, but it's got similarities too. Right, right. So, I I, I really like her, her compositions. Yeah. I love I love this one, of course, and I love Bergamot 22. Do we know if she did another one? I think you were she mentioned. She did Lease 41, Lease which 41? is also really, really nice. I need to retry that one. It's interesting because actually amongst those three, I think of, you know, Rose as being pretty much in the middle of the masculine feminine scale. Bergamot, definitely, of course, they're all unisex. unisex. But I think Bergamot, when others have smelt it, they've been like, this smells like very manly cologne, which I think is surprising because I think it's also pretty well balanced. And then Lease to me is very feminine. much feminine. It's like a lot of lily, a lot of white flower, jasmine, and a lot of vanilla. Um, but I think all three, those are some of my top fragrances from Lilabo. Really? So I think she's very talented. I, I, I really think also. So what do you like about Le Labo fragrances in general and, and this in general? Uh, Le Labo, I think, and again, I'm very new to fragrances, but my impression has been when I compare what I saw in Le Labo to other perfume counters like at Bloomingdale's or wherever else, I think that their compositions are very complex to me. And I think I've really enjoyed that they really change over time. They're, mm, except for maybe one. I think most of them are not linear, which is not necessarily a bad or a good thing, but I like that kind of change over time. It's almost the like journey. a journey. Yeah, it's a journey. It's almost like a good piece of music, you know, it has like flow. Um, I definitely love some linear scents as well, but I really enjoyed that aspect of um, Le Labo. I think too, just the, qu- I sense quality in all their fragrances. Like I think I've smelled some cheaper made fragrances and doesn't really resonate with me, but I feel like when I smell everything in their line, just feels very high quality and very pleasing. Even the fragrances that I don't like to wear, like they have an oud scent that is just not my... Not my cup of tea No, I definitely wore it out one (laughs) night and I liked it, but it's not my usual family. Even when I smell that, I can just smell like this is a very well-crafted, beautiful, beautiful fragrance. So I love that about this house. Really? Yeah. But you like the oud, but you just, it's not wearable. Oh man, not, it's not my personality. I think that one is a little too funky. Um, <laughs> it's definitely not for me, but <laughs> it's fun every once in a while. So the other thing I want to mention is about Rose 31. It, how much of a longevity do you get? Because I get pretty much all day. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a closer to the skin fragrance all around, even yeah. at the top when you're first spraying it. Uh, it does have some projection, but it's more of a skin mm. scent to me. And that's what makes it more sexy because of that. You were mentioning yeah. how cumin is kind of like body odor and sensual kind of thing. I think right. it, it's it's appropriate to say that it is because it's closer to the skin. Right. This has always been like a date fragrance for me. Like if I want to go out to like 
the club or the bar or something, or if I'm going out on a date, this is kind of the fragrance that I would go to, especially back in the winter. Um, but yeah, I definitely feel like it lasts very long on my skin. I don't know if I had just over sprayed it back in the day, but I definitely <laughs> one day was like in a small, like, uh, like an art gallery shop kind of combo. And I remember this other woman like walked in and she's walking around. She's like, oh my God, something smells so musky and great. And I'm pretty sure she's talking about like <laughs> the perfume that I was wearing, but. Um, it was this? Yeah, I must have just like over sprayed it on my, I usually go for the back of my neck. So I think I get good projection off that area. Okay. But, uh, but yeah, definitely a long, uh, longevity and do you think it's office appropriate because you say you work in oh, an office environment so it's interesting because I remember um, I recently went back on Pinterest which I never do um, and I found this one list of like fragrances for men there's like an infographic and then one of the top like they had five fragrances they picked like for the office and this was the only Le Labo product they had listed but this one was listed under office and it's funny because I always thought, like I just said, like it's very sensual fragrance to me. Like that's my association. I would never personally wear this in the office. I think maybe someone else could pull it off in the office. But to me, my association with this fragrance is very sensual, very much like kind of seductive and a little bit like, what's the word? Like kind of not funky, but it's definitely not to me. Like I think of office fragrance as like not offensive, not controversial. Citrus. Yeah, something citrus. Like I wear Bergamot 22 to the office all the time. Uh, rose for me is not one that I'll, you'll ever find me wearing in the office though. But because this is woody and mm -hmm. spicy, it could pr probably turn off people at the office, but yeah. also because it's closer to the skin, it's, mm. it's almost a skin scent. It's, it could be appropriate, but That's just fair. don't overdo it. I That's think. fair. I think too, it depends who you are, right? I think like my personality is, you know, I, I don't simple. know. I, just, I think, yeah, I'm a little, more, simple, more, a little bit more cheery. I think of something like this, I can imagine like maybe an executive who wears like a suit to work, or, like a really nice dress shirt and maybe if it's on button or whatever. I think that kind of image to me makes sense of like a close to the skin, maybe one or two sprays. I think that can match to me. But for me, I think it doesn't fit who I am at the office. So okay. what about seasons? Personally, I find this to be perfect for fall. Mm, yeah, I think so. What for me, think? I think of this as more, that's like, that's one of the reasons Is why it I haven't worn it in so long. I think it's dry, spicy. I associate those notes personally with more colder weather, like you're saying, so fall, kind of winter for me, mm -hmm. that's when I wore it the most. Okay. Um, I think though, you know, on a date night, even now in a, towards like the end of our summer, um, I could find myself wearing it. In but, the summer. Yeah, but definitely not something that I've ever worn during the day, personally. Okay. I think of it as like a nighttime okay. or like a fall winter scent. Um, Again, that's your, these, that's these my, are our personal opinions. Right. Just totally. use them, uh, you know, like if you prefer it during the day, wear it during the day. Look wear it day right. and night but you know, well I've had some people say like for example their tuberose fragrance that's the New York City exclusive I've read online that someone's like this is definitely like a daytime only fragrance and not something you should wear on a date it's too cheery and like I wore it out Thursday night my friends and I went to the bar and like just for some drinks and I, I wore that on the back of my neck and someone's like wow you smell really good so that's cool it's absolutely like what your personal preference is so yeah exactly Cool. Do we have anything else left to say about Rose 31? Just uh, to go sample it? I think so. I think especially, you know, uh, a lot of men are still for some reason afraid to try anything that says Rose on it. But I think this is absolutely something you're missing out on if that's who you are. And I personally love floral fragrances. This, I think, is softer for a floral. But, you know, I think guys need to try it. Just smell it. Try it on your skin. No one has to know the name of it. It's great. <laughs> one more thing I forgot to mention. Um, this is so popular that the hotel chain Fairmont has, oh, that's right. has, has, has these as products. Right. So you can go to a, if you're staying at a Fairmont, take your bottle with you and you can shower with the, the you know, the shampoo and the soap and the, mm -hmm. all the lotion and then spray yourself with the fragrance and you walk out of your room and smelling yeah. great, I think. Yeah, my roommate actually uh, knows that I love Le Labo. So last time he stayed at a Fairmont, he was traveling for work. He just brought me back the little bottles of shampoo and conditioner, <laughs> which is actually interesting that you bring that up because I thought that the shampoo, even though it's the same fragrance, I think that medium, to me, it doesn't smell exactly the same. I think the perfume has a slightly different... Mm, like essence to it than yeah. the shampoo. Like, you're right. You're right. I, I don't. I don't agree with that either. Nice, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I agree with that too. I just right. don't think they don't. They smell very slightly close. different, but They're they're slightly very different. very close. I mean, it's different. You know, medium that it's like being transferred into. So there's also uh, the detergent 
too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't which, smelled that which one. Which I've tried. Yeah. Oh, yeah. what do you think? It's soft. Yeah. yeah it, this, it doesn't beat the perfume. Right. Yeah. Oh, the perfume is great though. Yeah. It's like spicy, but just a little hint of that beautiful rose that comes out. So yeah, it's, it's perfect. Mm. Guys, <laughs> thanks so much for watching. Uh, thanks Corey for coming to do this video. If you want to participate in this giveaway that we're doing five samples, please put a comment down below and write down what your favorite rose fragrance is and put your state. This is only open to uh, USA residents. Thanks to uh, Barney San Francisco who's going to be sending the samples. Also, if you want to participate in the giveaway, I need to make sure I can check your um, subscriptions. Please make sure I can see that, uh, otherwise you won't be qualified. And other than that, let us know what your favorite rose fragrances are in general so we can get a conversation started. Please like this video, please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. Oh, 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 oh,